Thank you, Dr. Viral, for the wonderful introduction. I am thankful to All India Ophthalmological Society Scientific Committee, Chairman Dr. Partha, and all Governing Council of All India Ophthalmological Society for giving me this opportunity to present in this particular IC. And I must thank Dr. Viral, who is my close friend. Since so many years, we have been together for various ICs. And I think this is the IC he has given me the opportunity. I am thankful for that. Is my screen visible? Viral? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. Sir. Yes, sir. Visible. Uh -huh. I think I am, the, I am the opening batsman of the session. I was in another session. The session ended and then I entered here. So I was that way not late because that session stopped and I came here only. I think uh, in this medical legal session, what Dr. Viral has given me, that is the topic of Consumer Protection Act. Most of us have heard about this particular act. And basically in the year 2019, there were some changes done in this particular act. Practical and important highlights for an ophthalmologist is the topic given to me by Dr. Viral. This slide is very important. Miss all my talk, you are going to listen afterwards. But these are the important changes which were done in clinical, sorry, Consumer Protection Act 2019. First thing is when this particular act came, there were congratulatory messages on social media that medical fatality is being out of Consumer Protection Act. But then when all of us were very happy, very much pleased, there was another view. No, it is under the purview of Consumer Protection Act. Because in that particular law, Medical fraternity word was not written. So people thought it is out of that. But then there is some exclusion criteria list. In that exclusion criteria list, medical profession is not written. So unless it is not written there, we are not out of this particular thing. So beware, we are under Consumer Protection Act. Another thing is compensation has been increased so many folds. This is the worst thing. But good thing is you must remember the compensation which will be asked, which we, we, again will be related to the bills, what you have put to that patient. So it should be relative to the bills, what you have charged to your patient. Third worst thing is jurisdiction anywhere in India. Previously, where you were practicing, that was jurisdiction. Now, suppose the patient is staying in Assam and he quotes your uh, case in that particular court, you will have to go there. There is Alternative to that, you can request the court to take part that particular place to your place, but then it is the lengthy procedure. And next thing is the provision of consumer mediation cells. Some mediators are allowed officially. This is good as well as bad. Good in the sense, in between the case, you can compromise and settle on that. Worst thing is, there are mediating agencies. They are making, making money out of it, and they are troubling a lot to medical professionals. So basically, when Consumer Protection Act came, it was doctor-patient relationship which was keeping in, uh, kept in mind. Doctor, basically, it is not the business. We are not the sailors. We are professionals. But there is a confusion made from government point of view. And patient, it is a client, buyer, or consumer. What this act feels, basically, it is a patient from our point of view. They are thinking it is pro-patient, government thought, but no. It is anti-doctor, and that is the worst thing. But patients are also receiving bad test of it. Nobody knows about it. Yes, everybody knows. But still, it is the worst thing because medical fraternity is getting hampered due, due to this particular law. For medical legal protection, what people have been doing in medical professions, investigation, CT, MRI, second opinion, defensive practice, faith, there is suspicion. So both are affected. Doctors, medical fraternity, as well as patients and general public. So doctor is answerable surely to these many things like medical council, civil courts, criminal courts, janta darbar, and consumer redressal. And unfortunately, all simultaneously or sequentially. So bad test can be there from all point of view. Doctor able. Uh, CPA is a special law of civil nature with the aim of a social welfare to protect consumers with following features. I think no court fee was there. Now they have thought about rupees 5,000. Again, it is not bigger for the patients. Simple procedure to filing, hearing, deciding that it was the aim of the government. Summary trial, speedy retracal, that was the aim. Non-judicial members on forum, and out of them one is female. Not, not 
a court but has a full force of it that is quasi judicial majority opinion is the order of the forum act is compulsory and not preventive or punitive appeals to all paid goods and the services but only free services covered are medical this is unfortunate thing even if we are treating uh, three patients and few of them are charged the person comes under the consumer protection act jurisdiction this is very very important slide in relation to 2019 cpa district forum it was less than 20, uh, 20 lakhs now it is 1 crore state commission it was around 1 uh, 20 uh, to 100 lakhs that is 1 crore now it has gone to 10 crores appeals plus administrative powers are there for national commission it was more than 100 crores that was 1 crore now unfortunately it is more than 10 crores and division appeals are possible so this is the worst thing if you see these figures 1 crore 10 crore more than 10 crores are the doctors in position to earn this much in their life why so much compensation procedure i think uh, summary procedure complaint in four to six copies affidavit then referred to opposite parties reply in 30 days is expected extension up to 15 days then hearing by president plus at least one member then lawyer is not mandatory evidence on affidavits expert book references if elaborate may be asked to go to civil court and order to be signed by president plus one member ex parte decision is also possible suppose you feel that you are not concerned with that case and you are not attending that particular um, court probably they can give the decision against you so appeal system this is the sequence district forum state commission national commission and supreme court so proposed changes power of interim orders power of injunctions increasing pecuniary jurisdictions national commission only appellate jurisdiction and more benches of state and national commissions i think i'll be speaking little bit about it most of the times when the patients they are unhappy they try to the uh, try to double the doctors and hospitals and they try to blame the doctors and this particular consumer protection act is the very easy tool in the hands of patients and the relatives they try to double you they try to blackmail you and they try to gain more and more money from the doctors and hospitals so what you have to do is you have to be very careful your documentation has to be perfect your consent taking has to be perfect your chair time has to be more and you must be in a position to convince the patient and the relatives in a proper way if you are doing that probably you will be safe and you will not be coming under these particular litigations in future i think consumer protection act which was redesigned in 2019 it is a worst thing you have to move around at various places not from your own clinic or hospital place and then compensation which has been increased from lakhs to crores and again the mediator thing these are many more things which are being added and we must be careful in doing our practice i hope all of you should be out of this particular i pray almighty uh, to remain out of this particular thing all of you thank you so much thank you for the patient listening